This remarkable tablet is by far the best thing I have purchased to boost my workflow and let me explain why. My name is Ben Barnett and welcome to my channel where I introduce and show products that will probably help you out in the creative world. So if I had to describe this tablet in a few words, it's like a Kindle but on steroids. Now whilst I'm raving about this product, there are a few disadvantages to it which I'll get to later on in the video. Let's talk money. Now to find one of these second hand on the market is rare and also to find them in such good condition. So the chances are you're probably going to end up going directly to the remarkable website brand new one of these will set you back at a cool 299 pounds or you can purchase a refurbished one at a cheaper price now the stock varies from time to time so keep an eye on the website and I'll leave a link to that in the description below now the company are really not messing about when it comes to the tablet itself it has a fantastic performance in terms of the pen to surface movement and it's quick to notice a change in the pressure when I'm shading or writing. So the back of the tablet actually has rubber seals at the top and the bottom. This is preventing it from sliding and reduces the chances of dropping it. Now as part of the £299 package it comes with a red folio. So this protects and keeps the tablet nice and snug inside and it also has a small little pocket for your marker to go in. Now there are other colours and materials available at an extra cost. Now speaking of the marker, it has a comfortable weight to it when applied to the surface and it also has a really cool hidden package inside where you can just slide it out and inside is a marker tip just in case you need to replace it on the go. My only criticism with the marker is it does feel a bit cheap and plasticky for the price that I've paid for. I never thought I'd say this but the battery life on this thing is insane. At one point I actually used this for five days straight without a single charge and it still had enough juice inside for it to work. It has a USB-A to a micro USB to charge the tablet. Unfortunately, it's not what I want. I'd prefer it to be a USB-C, but we can't please everybody. It's nice to be able to take this to work and use it in a meeting where you're not going to be worrying about the battery life or the tablet giving up on you. Like the e-readers and Kindles, we see the remarkable screen does not reflect against the light. Therefore, it makes it so easy and comfortable on the eyes to read. The tablet does have security features such as a pin to log in but this alone has some issues. The number sometimes does not select despite applying enough pressure from the marker. Let's get to the nitty gritty. Included in the software are options for different notebooks, subfolders and pages. I personally enjoy using these subfolders to separate my work content and my YouTube content. So on the page itself you have the option for different markers, different thickness and different styles and of course if you make a mistake there is also an eraser on there too but it doesn't just stop there oh no you can even select an area and resize it if your handwriting's too big or it's too small. Something that doesn't get spoken enough about with the Remarkable is what is the storage capacity. This one has 7 gigabytes, and I'll tell you something, I've used this for two months now, the majority of it being for planning and meetings. It may not seem that much, and I've only used 0 0.38 gigabytes. So capacity for this is no issue. True to their word, it really is as thin as they say, and it feels so much like paper when you go to write on it. You can write your notes in portrait or landscape mode. From lists, line paper to dotted paper, there's hundreds of templates on there for you to use. If you found this video helpful, then why not give it a like? If you have any questions at all about the product, then why not drop me a comment? And for more tech and filming content, then why not subscribe? Take care and I'll see you in the next one.